Hi, Mark the Snake Hunter here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Eastern Brown Snake that I'm holding in my hands. In Australia, there are many types of brown snakes, but the most dangerous of all is the Eastern Brown. Brown snakes alone contribute towards more snake bites and snake bite deaths than all other snakes in Australia put together. They're not typically as big as Brandon is here. However, they average around one to one and a half meters long. That said, specimens of over two meters have been found. The Eastern Brown Snake has only a tiny little head and even smaller fangs. The problem that you have with a brown snake is that those fangs contain the second most dangerous venom of all land snakes in the world. Eastern Brown Snakes are typically quite flighty. What they lack in size, they make up for in speed and agility. They're incredibly fast moving snakes and you do not want to get bitten by one of these. Under no circumstances should you ever be this close to a brown snake and never try to touch a snake, pick it up and handle it and never ever try to kill it. Killing or touching a snake in Australia, regardless of what state or territory you're in, is completely illegal. As you can see looking at this guy, he's flicking his tongue very fast at me and he's paying a lot of attention to me. If I were to move quickly, he'd respond in kind, as you can see from that. But when I leave him alone and he doesn't feel afraid from me, he'll leave me alone. As you can see, he's got a slightly defensive posture right now. His neck's a little bit flattened out, his tongue's flicking fast, and he's ready to go me should I need to, should he need to. Come on, just relax there. Just, uh, not good, not good. I'm showing you these. I'm showing you the S-bend of the Eastern Brown Snake and hopefully you can get it from the camera angle that you're, you're at. Just before they bite, Eastern Browns tend to come up like an S-shape and they open their mouth nice, nice and wide to give you a very big warning that their fangs can cause you incredible amounts of harm. As you can see, this snake is puffed up a little bit and its body language is a little bit defensive to let me know that it's aware that I'm here and it wants me to stay away. However, if I start to move towards it, you see the S-bend and the quick movement to let me know that it can defend itself very well. Eastern brown snakes are typically a light brown or tan color. That said, I found Eastern brown snakes with black stripes on them and a variation of color from light tan to almost black all over. The most common place that I found Eastern brown snakes is in and around home and the backyard. In fact, Eastern brown snakes contribute towards about 40% of all my snake catches here in Melbourne. Interesting places that I found Eastern brown snakes include um, homes and backyards, factories, schools, the Northern Hospital in Epping in Melbourne, kindergartens, universities, you name it, I found Eastern Browns there. So this, if you don't know what you're doing, is actually a very stupid thing to do. To be this close to an Eastern Brown snake in a very prone position, very vulnerable position. Why is it this snake's not trying to attack me is because snakes, as deadly as they are and as venomous as they are, are equally as shy. He doesn't want to go out of his way to bite me. That said, if I provoke him, hurt him, or try to pick him up, that's when a snake wants to defend themselves. And that's a very important thing for you to know. Snakes do not go out of their way to try to cause harm to you. If you just leave them alone, they will leave you alone too. The typical diet of an Eastern Brown snake can be quite varied. The venom changes throughout the lifetime of, the, of an Eastern Brown. When they're young, the venom is typically suited for small prey, such as skinks or very small lizards. As they get older, the venom actually changes to become much more focused on taking down small mammals, or whatever they can fit in their mouth. That said though, an adult Eastern Brown can eat anything from frogs, blue tongue lizards, other lizards it finds in the garden, rodents, possums, rats, you name it, whatever a snake can fit in its mouth, it will eat. It's not been uncommon for me to actually find, um, when I've caught an Eastern Brown snake, that it regurgitates instantly a smaller snake that it just ate. So I'm going to show you how small the fangs are on an Eastern Brown snake, and I'm not hurting it by doing this. If you come in from this angle, you see it's a very tiny hypodermic needle 
just on the edge of where the tongs are pointing. It's a very tiny fang that it actually has that struggles to penetrate through clothing, leather boots, etc. So whenever you're around town and if you're in your back garden or on the farm and you're afraid of encountering an eastern brown, just remember to wear long boots and thick pants and these fangs typically can't penetrate. Thank you so much for paying attention today to this short video to learn a little bit about the eastern brown snake. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be producing more films about different snakes that you find in Australia, one at a time. Make sure you subscribe to our social media, links in the description below. Mark the snake hunter here. Remember, if you see a snake, call the snake hunter.